We're back. Shares of home builder D.R. Horton are falling nearly. Or fell. Today. Fell. Yeah. 8% in the past month. I was looking at it today. It's up today. There you go. Down nearly 8% in the last month. Traders are betting it's about to change. You have unusual activity in that name. We'll do that first, and I know you have a two for today, so give us the scoop here first. All right, Judge. Yeah, a beginning of the year, the stock's about a $53 number. That's right here, January. February, it starts to fall off. And now today, you're picking it up, if you're buying it here like I did, at about $41.60. The interesting thing is, Judge, that uh, these are short-term calls. They expire next Friday. Uh, the July 27th expiry, they came scrambling in to buy them in pretty big numbers. And so I figure after that kind of a sell-off, $12, 20%, like you say, these look pretty interesting. It's not a huge leap. 4250 is the strike price that they're buying. I bought these. Um, if we continue to see an extension of this rally, um, I will probably uh, add to another strike higher than this as I try to take some profits. Okay. But right now, I'm all in. All right, and we got earnings on the bank, so you have a bank stock for us. Yeah. When is it? Quickly, Wells Fargo. Earnings, of course, tomorrow. That's why I couldn't talk about it with Mike Mayo at the top yeah, of the show. Yeah, yeah. Like this one a lot, though. They came scrambling in, buying upside calls here, Judge. Lastly, update, take a look at Nextar Media. This is one we talked about, I think, uh, just a few weeks back. Now it's up another $2.45 today. The calls we were buying uh, when in this particular name, they were $1.70. Today, I believe they're trading through $10. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.